style. <coughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go, guys. Let's go into map number two of iCast. Your freaking awesome replays. Of course, guys, I forgot to actually announce next week's challenge. So if you want to send your replays in for Icy Far, uh, there is a challenge each week. So you guys have six days, as always, from today's show to get your replays in. The challenge is the Florencio Natural. Your first expansion has to be in a secret corner of the map. Send your submissions through to Eon Blue. As per always, info is down in the YouTube description as it is in Twitch chat. So basically take a fucking corner base at the start of the game and have fun with that. All right, guys, uh, what we are casting here is game two of Blood Feast. The fucking challenge, it is a redo of the fucking Blood Sacrifice challenge, which is one of my very first Icy Far topics. And it created some amazing, incredible games. And the rule basically is a, a unit has to die every minute of the game. So we can see already Kruhei comes in here, wants this drone to die or to get a kill. Oh, I think he got the first hit in. He got the first hit in. Kruhei, one hit ahead. Sid's fighting. Sid's trying to run. He's trying to run. He's trying to run. But Kruhei gets the fucking nibble and bites the asshole of that drone, tearing it in two. It was like, he, he, he basically, he tore it in, he, he cleaved, he cleaved it asunder. He cleaved that drone in two from the butt to the top of the spine, just like in one fucking pincer movement with those little crab claws. A beautiful move, a great kill to start the game, and the first sacrifice to the blood gods. From our red zerg in the top left, his name is Kruhei. Down here in the bottom right, another zerg player in the blue, his name is Sid. This, I believe, if my memory serves, is that fucked up kid from Toy Story. This guy likes to melt his toys and shit. Ow! Ow! Captain Dickhead takes one for the team and ends up being the second sacrifice to the Blood Gods. They're getting a few hors d'oeuvres at this point, a few little tasty treats being walked around and served to them. Um, that is, of course, one worker killed apiece so far. A couple Zerglings on the way as well. And we're going to have to see what these little fuckers do. Are they going to make their way across the map? Are they going to slay some drones? Maybe kill an enemy Zergling? Provide some more tasty treats for the Blood Gods? Or are they just going to end up being a sacrifice themselves? Of course, everyone wants to be the one serving up the fucking treats. But often, you end up being the piece of meat on the plate. You end up getting sliced and diced and served up in some fucking a wanky little glass with some little bits of cilantro and shit. And people are like, oh, it's a fucking uh, zergling salsa fucking thing. And people are like, oh, how delicious. Well, oh, 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 maybe going to try and serve some drone meat. Tastes a lot like crab. Don't quite get it. They do feed up a little zergling, though, before taking their trip to zergling heaven. And uh, Sid, the fucked up kid from Toy Story already getting a little bit of momentum in this game he's got his fucking doll's head attached to a fucking spider's body and shit some fucked up shit what sort of a demented child would do such things uh baneling nest is on the way for him as well of course he likes fucking acidic explosions this is that kid you never want to have a lighter and a can of deodorant because you know some insects are gonna have a bad time sid of course is basically looking for that strategy right now he's like oh you want to chase me you want to chase me do you well, he's found the can of deodorant and the lighter. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, it's okay. The queen will do. He doesn't even need to show. Look at this fucking zergling, Michael. Did you see that? That fucking zergling dodged around on the red hit points and fucking dodged it. Next wave of bugs coming across the map. But ah, oh, fuck me. The fucking can of deodorant, the fucking lighter. It's ready. He's shaking it up and he's getting prepared. Kruhe is like, hey, mate. I don't even have link speed. Oh, fuck me. Flamethrower to the face. Not bad. Not bad from Sid. Oh, that one was kind of terrible. Oh, that one was not bad, though. Sid there with some nice detonations. Um, unfortunately for him, though, Kruhei is like, nah, I don't need even to have the minerals. I'm just going to rally slow Zerglings across the map. So this one, uh, I mean, this is a, a high-level strategy, guys. This comes from the mind of a, a great strategist. Uh, known as, uh, I don't know, Vaping Bob or some shit. It's, it's definitely someone who's been inhaling a few too many substances. He's like, nah, 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 I'm going to hit you with three waves of slow zerglings, and then I'm going to make more slow zerglings and uh, the banelings. Meanwhile, Sid's like, mate, I've got ling speed and me flamethrower fucking banelings ready to rip your face off. You, you want a piece of this? Take that. Ha <laughs> ha. Sid is, of course, cocky as always, as the bad guy always is in any movie. But fuck me. Oh, God. 
flamethrowers on both sides. This one's turning into a little bit of a fucking mess, isn't it? A couple of those drones taking some big damage. In comes more little explodey boys. He's on the hunt. He's horny. He's excited and he wants to detonate right all over your face and he ends up blowing up on the rocks and hitting nothing else. Kruhei with an impressive display of micro. Following it up with another 32 slow zerglings and even more banelings. You know what? I was making fun of Kruhei. I was saying this guy's a bit of a dummy. But you know what? He's going to guarantee a lot of sacrifices to the blood gods. That's for sure. He's like, well, if I just keep attacking you with these kind of shitty units, some stuff is definitely going to die. And it is working out. He's even squeezing a few drones in behind it. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Sid pulls back at the last second. Oh, no. The drones, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The queen blows up. Okay, the baneling blows up on the queen. The banelings blow up on a single drone. Finally, a juicy hit there. Four drones go down to that one. And Kruhei's starting to warm up. But, oh, fuck me. That's a lot of speedlings. And there's no banelings for Kruhei. Kruhei, though, has so many slow zerglings. He might actually be able to win the fight. Where are the banelings? Sid comes in and gets a big juicy fucking hit. He finds an ant's nest, fucking shakes up the flamethrower, and just fucking sprays the flame all over Kruhei's face. The blood god is licking his lips. He is getting some tasty treats. And oh, another little fucking baneling hit gets about four or five zerglings. We got a rando zergling here for Sid who's like trying to tickle the reinforcers they come across the map. He's like, fight me, dickhead. Fight me, dickhead. Fight me. And he's going to go back to just standing there in the corner and hanging out. Both players on almost tied workers, Sid building some spines, trying to get roaches out now, is like, fuck you and your non-stop banelings walking into me natural. Uh, shout out to Sid's map vision, by the way, for never having any warning of the banelings entering the natural until they're literally in there. If anything's going to give you high blood pressure, I'd say playing ZVZ with no vision on the map is got to be top three in my book. If I play a game with this level of map vision in ZVZ, by the end of it, I'm going to need some fucking beta blockers because I'm going to have a goddamned heart attack. The Zerglings are fucking going for the headbutt on the Baneling. Oh, Kruhei's turn. It's a fucking orgy. Jesus Christ. Everyone's taking a turn in the fucking bang bus this game. Jesus Christ. Sid even comes in with a counter. The drones are being pulled off the line. One drone goes down, a second falling, a third, a fourth going to go down. The drones are just taking a one way trip to Dicktown, but at the same time, Kruhei gets the cancel on the third base and says, Dicktown who? Dicktown you! Um, and apparently he's got his rhyming fucking smack talk, like a real grade A wanker, because this game is getting heated up, it's getting hot, it's getting down and dirty. The only thing missing from the love story of this Zergling Baneling battle is Patrick Swayze and a fucking pottery vase. We need some fucking slow motion Ling Bane fucking forming the, the dance of the fucking pottery vase that is the Baneling explosion, that is the gigantic fucking orgy of this game. Both players, I think, are slowly starting to fall in love. It started out as a brutal fucking hatred war of Ling Bane, but I think they're starting to get a sort of begrudging respect for each other. At this point, they're both trying to build up. They're trying to take it to the next stage. And once again, eight minutes in, Kruhei is like, ha, I still don't have ling speed. I'm a bit of a dickhead, aren't I? The roaches are like, god damn, that's a lot of spurglings. Get the fuck out. The queen's like, don't fucking leave me. You guys always fucking leave me. But it's okay. The flamethrower's here again. And the fucking busty boys decide to just explode all over that. Hey, Baneling's killing roaches. Not something you see every day. The queen survives with 10 hit points. The roach survives with three hit points. And that's going to be a hold for Sid. He says, fuck off, you Buzz Lightyear. Woody loving motherfucker. I am strong. I'm in charge. I'm making me robot spider army now, aka roaches. They're getting their fucking movement speed upgrades with their robot legs. I'm getting some plus one range. Meanwhile, Kruhei, uh, not to be messed with, has decided to add the much maligned and misunderstood Zergling speed upgrade. He said, you know what? Maybe, despite popular opinion, there is a slight use to making your Zerglings move three times as fast. I'm not fully sure that this is the case, but I'm going to try it out just for experimentation's sake. Meanwhile, though, his whole army does get pulled home. A couple of Zerglings going to come in. And Sid, Sid tries to get the Queen Sniper, but this truly is the game of, uh, of teasing the Blood Gods, is it not? They love a big juicy Queen kill. Nothing gets them more excited, but these Queens just keep barely getting out of there. A big Link counter comes in. They actually get a few roaches there. These ones trying to evade the Banelings. Are they going to get a few drones? The Banelings are not actually chasing into the main. The drones being pulled off the line but a good drone pull and Sid's drones getting bruised but not killed 
almost all do survive in the main base. And the 1-1 upgrades getting closer and closer to finished. The Roach Speed's on the way. Somehow, Mass Slow Zergling Kruhei is up 20 supply right now. He's up a few workers, but his upgrades are pretty fucking appallingly bad at this point. He's got none. Yeah, he's making a lot of roaches, but they're going to be up against 1-1 one, one speed roaches from Sid. And Sid's recovering that drone count. If Sid can defend the next wave, he'll be good. And oh, finally, a big juicy queen to fucking feed on for those, uh, those blood gods. They're feeling happy. They're enjoying the quality of this game so far. Uh, shout out once again, guys, to Sid's map vision for having great vision across the middle of the map and never being completely surprised by every assault coming. To be fair, Kruhei kind of in the same scenario. So uh, I like it. I like blind Zerg versus Zerg. It's kind of like, you know, you know how Zerg versus Zerg, I always call it a knife fight in a phone booth. Well, have you ever watched two fucking blind men have a knife fight in a phone booth? Because that's what this game is. Two fucking blind dudes just fucking stabbing at the air, generally finding each other's kidneys, occasionally the liver, simply because they're in a fucking phone booth and it's impossible to miss. But I just feel like it gets a little bit more brutal. You think two dudes with knives in a phone booth don't have any defense? Wait until they don't have any fucking vision either. It gets brutal as fuck. And that's why you have dudes just not making zergling speed for nine minutes while trying to shank the other dude. Speaking of shanks, um, this is not a bad toothbrush shank here. It's, it's, it's low tier, low tech. Uh, unupgraded roaches, but there's a fucking lot of them, right? It's 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 well sharpened. Meanwhile, Sid with the fucking high tier army comes up and down the ramp. Some amazing micro by Sid gives the concave to Kruhe. Uh, corrosive bile is the own baneling, but the upgrades are just too good. Sid's got one one. Sid's army is out of control here. The roaches and ravages. <laughs> He puts the corrosive bar behind the forces like, you can't fucking retreat. But wait, Zergling's coming in. And at the same time, Zergling's on that third base down here in the left-hand side of our screen. Oh, fuck me. He's going to hold on with the spines in the natural. He's going to turn it around and take a good fight there. But the drones get ravaged. And once again, Kruhei finds a little bit of offering. He says, here's me whole army that's about to get brutally fucked. But uh, also, also, I'm going to kill some drones. And ah, oh, here's some more roaches. Kill those two. Jesus Christ, guys. We've got to look at the cost efficiency because Kruhe has been throwing so much shit away and is trailing by about 1,500 resources, is now said, you know what? I lost me whole army. You've got better upgrades. You've got a bigger army. It's a tiny map. I'm going to just invest in drones, gases, and aspire while you counterattack and probably just fucking knock me out and kill me. Zerglings of Sid going to counter to the north side. Do it going for some classic two-pronged aggression. A blind man. He faints to the right. He comes down the left-hand side at the same time. These roaches of Kruhei. Just no fucking fear from this player. Kruhei is like, nah, going to move me only units out on the map. And this is what happens when you have blind Zerg versus Zerg. I fucking love it. It's just a gigantic blood orgy. The gods are happy. They're excited. They don't get to see a game like this every day. The third base goes down. Kruhei's in trubs. The fourth base looks like it's going to go down as well. I'll keep an eye on those hit points. It falls in the top right-hand side. These roaches of Kruhei decide to come in about four or five roaches at a time. Sid getting a brutally good engagement, even landing corrosive biles all over Kruhei's face. But Kruhei's got the mutilists on the way behind us. Jesus Christ, plus two rangers even finished for Sid. Sid's roaches are like these fucking advanced mechatronic transformer toys up against Kruhei's fucking... Fake Lego. You guys know what I'm talking about? Those fucking fake Legos? You're just like, shit, man. Did you just fucking make a fucking copy where it's just like 80% more shit and the pieces don't fit together? And you're like, oh, I can always find the piece I need. It just doesn't have a satisfying click. That's the equivalent of Kruhei's terrible unupgraded units. But you know what the advantage is when you're playing Lego? You just fucking make shit up. You go, oh, I've got a wing with a laser on it, that's this. And your opponent says, no, you can't afford that. You've had fucking no economy and you've lost every fight this game. But as long as you're adamant as a small child that indeed you can just stick a fucking laser on a random wing, you call it a flappy bird and you start to win until your opponent comes out with 15 hydras, kills them in one fucking stroke, slaps the toy out of your hand, says it's not a fucking laser fighter jet, you dickhead, and uh, destroys it. We've got a few haters of the fake Legos in chat. I'm with you guys. Fuck, fuck Mega Blocks and Roblox and Duplo. Well, Duplo was actually made by Lego. It was just Lego for tiny kids, wasn't it? I had a fuckload of Duplo when I was like three. That was the shit, man. Don't, don't be fucking hating on Duplo. Duplo was fucking great. Duplo was the shit. 
GG, well played. Kruhei, thanks. I'm, I'm assuming Kruhei submitted that loss. I can't help but wonder how it would have gone if he invested in a little thing called Zergling Speed. But uh, you know what? Blind knife fight in the phone booth. One of my favorite types of StarCraft. So uh, good shit, good shit. Play Mobile? I've, I've never even seen that one, but I, I assume it's shit because it's not Lego. Because remember, guys, as a consumer in our society, what you really should do is praise the Monopoly and just say it's better than everything. You know, I, spend $1,000 on your brand new iPhone. Don't go and buy a fucking highway, one of these one of these Chinese phones that works pretty much as well and costs one eighth of the price. Don't, don't fucking contribute to competition. Pay your money to the fucking man with the monocle, the mustache, and the top hat. Let him go past go. Land on Mayfair. Pay him his rent. Just fucking worship whichever one is the leading brand. Do not embrace competition or give any chance to competitors. Be a mindless consumer. And just fucking go for whatever is the most popular and costs the most money. Because remember, the rule of the world, if it costs the most money, it must be the best. It's flawless logic. Go with it.